Hey, this is Amanda Henderson, and I am doing the Ultimate Reset, and this was day nine that I completed. And it consisted of having a soup for breakfast, which I decided not to have. That was the miso soup and smashed chickpeas, and also um, some avocado. What I did instead was I made myself a small Shakeology for my breakfast, and was good with that. Um, for lunch, I had, um, instead of the sweet potato and roasted pepper bisque, I know it sounds tasty, doesn't it? I, I'm sure it is, but I just didn't have the time to make it. I opted for one of the salads again, and also I moved on to dinner, which was the um, serving of beans, pinto beans and rice, and the microgreen salad. So I had that for dinner. It was really tasty once again, and I had a great day. Now, uh, this is the release stage, and so I am taking the uh, supplements, which are the, um, oh, what is it called? Um, there's the green grass, which is nice, that's the alkaline, and alkalinize, and then also there is the uh, toxis, toxin release, which um, it's not called that, I can't think of the name right now, but it is um, helpful to release everything in your system, and I'm looking it up right now. It's just called, the, I think it's just the detox packet. So there you have it. I'm also taking Optimize, which are a couple pills. So there's a, a few supplements, just so you know, on this reset that you need to take, and there's also Oxygenize and Mineralize. So you're putting some minerals in your um, water, which is just uh, the Himalayan salt. And it doesn't make the water taste salty. At least it didn't to me. And that's basically all you're doing throughout the day. And you're just kind of making um, your day orderly. And knowing when you're going to eat and how much you're going to eat. And you time it so that you don't always have your stomach full. So you actually feel hungry. I actually like this process because I know that I'm actually hungry and ready. I think week one is the hardest week as far as like knowing that you are going to be feeling hungry and that you have to time everything and you have to prep food prep and you have to go to the grocery store and find foods maybe that you're not used to finding in the store you really have to take that time to look around so when you're first starting reset you really need to think about purchasing those things that you want to eat and would eat because not everything is absolute unless you're going to be completely strict and follow everything to the T. But if, if you know that there are some things that you can't have or shouldn't have or whatnot, um, then you should plan a ahead of time and not you don't have to buy those things. Um, so just kind of know that there is some kind of flexibility in here for that. And also I would highly recommend that you join some kind of a support group, the people that are also doing it with you, um, maybe at the same time, so they're with you on the days that, that you're on, and there's a ton of people doing it on Facebook right now, so I am in two separate groups, and I'm watching some people post and tell me about what's coming up, because some people are on a different time than I am, and some people are on the same time as me in this other group, so it's kind of fun to watch and see people's reactions. Um, Excuse me, I was just trying to think about um, the sleeping. You're supposed to be able to sleep better. Um, I'm one of those people that as I'm a night owl, so I will stay up until like 1 or 2 in the morning, and that's my like normal time to go to bed is like 1. So um, I really, I got really tired yesterday, and I, I went to bed at like 11.30. I know, shocker. So uh, I think it's starting to work, and I actually need to go to bed earlier. So this is actually going to help me um, tune myself better. And uh, I'm looking forward to the finish of this week so that I can see the results big, in the bigger scheme. So I look forward to um, giving you the update tomorrow.